Carolina Sports here with uh, Shakur Stevenson. Uh, just got doing some rounds with the world champion, man, Jesse Magdaleno. Tell us, tell us how that went. Uh, it was a great sparring. We did six rounds straight. Uh, it was great work. If anybody like was there, they'd tell you it was beautiful work, and uh, it was work that you would pay to see. So yeah. we was working. So uh, a couple of photographers here were telling me that uh, you were looking real sharp, man. That they, they, they were they were real impressed. Just obviously you're you haven't even made your pro debut yet, but you were just you know like you know keep, keeping uh, keeping up with the champion. Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. It was. I don't think there's nobody y'all could get in the ring with that's just gonna dominate me. I don't care who it is. So, but it was, it was competitive work. We was working, and uh, much respect to him. I think he's gonna win the work. I mean, he, I think he's gonna defend his world title and defend it good April 22nd. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, the fight's gonna be out here in LA. Um, but where, where will you be holding your training camp? Uh, I'll be training in Virginia. But we just think about coming out to LA because it seemed like. Uh, they got a lot of work out here. Yeah. They got a lot of good work, so we might come out here for a little bit. Especially even in this gym, just yeah. with Oscar Valdez, Conlon, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Is, is there, Conlon's not here today. Is, is, is that why you, you came here today? You were kind of like, he, he's out, you, you'll come in? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, I was about to go to this press conference today, but my uh, flight, my flight uh, is, is too early, so we was, but we was gonna go there. But uh, I don't know, I wanna, we, me and Conlon could work whenever, I um, I was I gonna say like they, like obviously that's the fight you want. Time, the, yeah, right. we got a long time, so I wouldn't mind working with him. Right. He probably I don't know, so he probably the same way. So have, have you guys ever sparred or anything like that? Before? Nah, we was in a training camp together in Rio, oh. but it, we ain't never get to work. Like every time I spar, he came over there to watch. Every time he sparred, I came over there to watch. So we was like checking each other out, yeah. and we knew what it was. Like everybody was hyping the fight up, fight up before the Olympics even happened. They was hyping the fight up before I even qualified for. Rio, so like we knew what it was, so I can't wait until we get to the point where we gonna fight each other. I was gonna say, what's that like? I mean, like like you said, you everyone knew what it was. You went to go see him. You went to check him out to see, you know, like, kind of measure him up. He he kind of did the same to you. What's that like knowing that? I mean, still, because when I talked to Bob yesterday, he was he had the same idea. Obviously, he likes the idea of yeah. you guys, you know, like building you guys up and you guys having a mega fight, you yeah. know. But he was saying, realistically, four or five years down the road or something like that. I mean, but what's that like, kind of having that history with someone? being so young kind of and all these years it's just I mean it seemed like a like a mini 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 tiny tiny mini Pacquiao and Floyd right. hype up fight so I don't know it feel good I mean I can't wait to see what he's working with and get in the ring with him and it's gonna be good yeah man no, it's, it's, it's gonna be great it's almost kind of like just given the the current climate it's almost kind of like a, a McGregor Mayweather right because uh, yeah because he's Irish, yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> you're, Irish. You're American. I feel like it's more but, Pacquiao Mayweather because it's Pacquiao was a sport. great fighter same right. for sport Mayweather McGregor it'd be real easy for uh, Mayweather so but Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to the moment me and him square up in the ring. I don't care if it's sparring. I'm mean, gonna enjoy every minute of it. I was gonna say so. Even I think like, of him as a really good fighter, though. Right. Yeah. Of course. Like, yeah, I mean, I it, think it's, of him, it's all respect. You I can think tell. of him highly. He think of me highly. So right. it's, it's mutual. Is that is that one of those things? Being that you haven't sparred yet, is that is that kind of one of those? And you know, you guys both kind of know that that's lingering in the future. Is that kind of one of those things that you gotta like really kind of make your statement when the sparring session actually does go down? Uh. Honestly, maybe yeah. Maybe he get in there and try to not show me nothing, cause it's oh, true. like you don't, you don't know how to how, how how it could go down. So I just do what I do, but I can't wait till I get in the ring with him and see what mm -hmm. what he gonna do. If he turn it up, I'm definitely turning it up. <laughs> well, I'm turning it up anyway, to be honest. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say actually, cause cause I I hadn't thought about that. Maybe you you would want to kind of not show as much like in sparring. Is that something really kind of goes through your mind, or you kind of like I want to win the sparring. I wanna. You know, I, I want to uh, do my best. To or is be it honest, just me, learning? if I'm sparring somebody that I might fight, I'm going to try to make a statement. I'm going to try to give him a statement that way. When he go in the ring, when we fight, he know it ain't just going to be a walk in the park. Yeah. As I sparred him, nah, it ain't going to be a walk in the park. You <laughs> feel me? So yeah. that's how I look at it. Uh, obviously, you're making your pro debut April 22nd. We talked about it yesterday. Um, should have no opponent yet, right? Like no names or anything like that? Or have you gotten... Uh, they ain't giving me no opponent yet, so I'm waiting until they do that, and I can't wait. Is, is, give me a prediction. What, what, what's kind of ideal, your pro debut, when you've envisioned it? How do you, how do you envision it ending? Uh, I'm fighting a six-rounder. I hope it don't go more than three rounds. Mm. That's my plan. Yeah. Uh, 
this is the pros now, so the gloves are smaller. And I'm, a, I'm real accurate, like I'm good at picking punches and placing them where they're supposed to be. I caught a knockout in the amateurs, just caught somebody in sparring the other day. So, I know it's going to be a little different than the pros and I'm ready. I can't wait for that because they're going to feel my punches. Yeah, well, we, we can't wait for it either, man. I'm excited to watch you April 22nd. Thank you, man, for the time. I no appreciate problem, it. man.